gonna get on this live, share this video with 10 people and comment done. I'm about to show you how to broker cars like a boss. I'm gonna show you how to broker cars like Mitch. How to broker cars like a boss. Everybody comment like a boss after you share this video with 10 people. Share this video with 10 people and I'm gonna show you how to broker cars like a boss. Boss. Boss so many days they thought I had a lazy eye. Let me show you how to broker cars like a boss. When you get on this live, share this video with 10 people, then comment like a boss. I'm gonna show you how to broker cars like Mitch. You feel me? Boss so many chase, they thought I had a lazy eye. Like a boss, like a boss. I just put a 40 on my wrist just like a boss. Do, do. Mm -hmm. whoa, 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 whoa. Who want to learn how to broker cars like a boss? So, my brother just dropped his ebook, right? My brother dropped his ebook, it's got the rental car hacks, right? It's like $47 or something like that. But he telling y'all specific things like this, like, um, how to be able to broker cars like a boss. So, a little brother Instagram is called at Run Plays with me. I just put a forty on my wrist, just like a boss. So, um, so basically, if you want to learn how to broker cars like a boss, make sure you go follow my brother Run Plays with me on IG. You got an ebook, 47 bucks. If you want to learn a little bit more about the rental car game, shit that I don't even teach, he teaches it in his own way, which is dope. But um, grab that ebook. But Pete, if you want to learn how to broker cars like a boss, let me tell you what you got to start off with. First thing you got to start off with the broker cars like a boss, because this is a this is a skill that you can literally cross over with, right? Everybody say cross over. Because these skill sets is something that you can utilize in multiple industries, meaning that you don't have to con you have you don't have to own stuff to control stuff, right? You don't have to own the cars to control them. You don't have to own private jets to control them. You don't have to own houses to control them. That's the coolest thing about it. So when you broker, so a lot of people ask questions. My brother had a super dope content he dropped today. He said, people say they want this car. They're like, oh, what if I start with this car? What if I start with that car? But don't. it doesn't matter because the, haven't you heard of the broker method? The broker method is going to save you a lot of money and it's going to make you a lot of money. Why does it save you money? Because you don't actually have to go out and purchase the car. You don't have to actually go out there and finance the car. You don't have to go out there and actually um, do a JV with somebody to get the car. All you have to do is have the information. So the first thing you're going to need to broker like a boss is you're going to need the information. You're going to have to know the ins and outs of the game that you're entering in. Do you know what's the worst case scenario? Do you know what's best case scenario? Do you Are you good with people? Are you good at building relationships and networking? That's all you need to really be, really. Even if you don't know all the complete game, the way you broker is you utilize someone who does know the complete game. And then when you are better at knowing the knowledge of the game, you can easily get people to buy into what you're selling. So what does that look like? So um, let's just say that I got a company down in Miami called Super Exotics. Super Exotics has been in the game for like five, six years, right? So the key to it would be to ask them if they allow brokery, right? But you don't want to ask them. The best way to set up a broker and relationship with somebody is to come with value, to start off with value, to start off with value, meaning that you already have clientele when you step on the scene. Look, man, I can bring you five to 10 more customers um, a week. 
I can bring you 10 to 20 more customers a month. I already have a book of business, meaning that you already know people who like to rent vehicles. You've already started collecting phone numbers, already started collecting emails, and not just anybody, people who take care of cars, meaning that they have the right insurance. They already know how to drive exotic vehicles. They're prepared to sign rental car agreements. You already have a good clientele base before you go over there and try to even talk to anybody about doing a broker deal with them, right? Leading with value. The way that Pushman Mitch does it is I already have my own rental car agency. And then when I go to somebody else, I offer to give them a car, give them one of my cars in their fleet. I don't do that until I actually do business with them. So a key bar to becoming a great broker is to shop with the business that you want to broker with. You shop with the business. So I go up into the business, I rent a car myself, I see how they check on the cars, see how they make sure the gas is full, see how they have rental car agreements, see how they treat me fairly, they track the mileage, they're treating the cars nicely, making sure they vetted me properly, making sure I signed the proper rental car agreement, everything is good with my insurance, they verified it. I know that they take care of vehicles every time, not sometimes, because when I pulled up on the scene, they took good care of me. That's what I want. So when I go offer my services, like, hey, look, you know, I got a, I got a lot of Lambos, I got I got McLarens, I got Rolls Royces, man. You know, I could add one, one or two cars to your fleet, and maybe we can work out a broker situation. I'll let you rent them out at a wholesale rate, and um, <clears throat> you could charge on the top, or we can just split the profits, you know, 50, 50, 60, 40, whatever you feel comfortable with. And they say, cool, that's how you make a deal with them by uh, me putting a car in their fleet. But the thing about me giving them a car is they'll also let me broker their vehicles on top of them renting my cars out. So now they're gonna rent my cars out, just two, and let's say if they have a fleet of like 30 or 40 or 50 cars. If they got a fleet of 30, 40 or 50 cars, I actually can broker those vehicles as well to my customers. And when I send them a customer, I'm getting paid for cars that I don't own. So I am now controlling an asset that I don't own right so that's going to be able to get you in the door of brokering that's one of the ways that pushman mitch does it but like i said when you come with value when you come with a book of business you can be able to broker cars up to whatever amount you want i put 100k but i make more than 100k off of brokering vehicles so what that looks like is all you do is you go to multiple different businesses with your book of business so that way, if one of the businesses doesn't have any cars available, you can go and call another one that you know does business well as good, does, does good as well, right? Um, and you wanna make sure that you have their contact, you have their procedures, you already know what they expect when you send them a broker deal, you already can tell a customer what contracts they have to look for, the deposits and the price, and they know when you send them a, a broker deal that you get paid after the deal, right? So basically, you, you put your price on top, they put that price on the contract. You understand everything on the ins and outs to make it a smooth transition when a customer comes there. That's how you successfully broker in a smooth way. So me, when I do broker deals, I never have to worry about, oh yeah, I thought these were your cars or whatever, whatever. You don't have to worry about any of that stuff. You are becoming the plug. You are the person who is making their job easier. So I run advertisements to my brokering service. So if I'm not in Miami, I can literally run ads if somebody wants a car in Miami, call this number. They call my VA, my VA answers it, takes their information down. My VA then goes and searches everybody, all of my people in my broker system to see who has those cars available. We set up the play, we get them the, uh, the time that they need it, we get everything set up with the company. The company then tells them where they need to be met at, they need to come or they need to get delivered. We get everything set up for the customer that they would normally have to do and find the client or find whatever business has those cars. We're gonna do that for them. Therefore, we get paid on top of whatever that, that rental car service offers. It's very simple to get into the broker game and make a lot of money. That's how I started. When I started off, before I had Lambos, I had to broker them. Before I had I-8s, I had to broker them. Before I had Jeeps, I had to broker them. So what I did was I got my own fleet and then for me to expand my fleet, I found people who are like-minded, who understand how to make money with their vehicles. And then we got into what's called uh, a broker situation or a JV deal, a joint venture. So that's the easiest way to make a lot of money in the game. So how to make money as a boss up to 100K, 200K, 300K is how good you are at what? Bleeding with value, building relationships, and you are at literally setting up a system to make it easy for yourself. The reason why I make so much with it is because I have a system that I can be on live with you guys talking, and literally my system is working as it as I'm talking on live. 
People are literally calling the businesses. They're seeing my advertisements. They're calling it. They don't even know it's me. They have no idea it's me. It's just a company. They see a picture of a Lambo. They say, you want this car? You want to reserve it? You got to reserve it for $1,000. They respond to the advertisement. They know they're in Miami. They know they're in Houston. They know they're in LA. And then they simply call that phone number and, and lead you right to my VA. My VA then brokers find out what this person needs where they are, they contact the company that we're affiliated with, they set the deal up, and then we get we get money on top. If you just learned something on this live, just drop a flame. We gotta make sure y'all paying attention. A lot of y'all, y'all need some extra advice and shit like that, but if y'all just learn how to broker like a boss, drop some flames in the comments. Let's go, man. Let's go, man. Yes, sir, fire me up. I just put the 40 on my wrist just like a bus. Like a bus. Y'all know, y'all know what that's from, uh, Young Thug. I'm a stoner, I'm a stoner, I'm a stoner. I just put that 40 on my wrist just like a bus. So that's the issue. A lot of people think that they gotta have a perfect car, they gotta have a perfect credit, they gotta have the perfect capital, the perfect business. But really, all you need to do is learn the game, get educated on the game. The reason why a lot of y'all haven't started is because y'all haven't got educated on the game. Y'all think y'all need. Y'all need to have all these things already before y'all start. Y'all simply just need to get edu educated on the game. Educated on the game. Get educated on the game. So, yeah. So, YouTube. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, my YouTube is Pushman Mitch. I just dropped the actual video on YouTube um, on my channel. If you haven't subscribed, I won't drop my podcast video until I reach uh, 10,000 subscribers. I have like 1,700, I think, or uh, 1,070, something crazy. But either way, so um, if you haven't subscribed to it, hit that link tree in my bio and go ahead and um, subscribe to my YouTube. Uh, the podcast episodes of No Fluff are going to be telling y'all a lot about how to make money in the, in the industry. Just like tips like I just told y'all just now. Some of you guys have never, ever heard of things like that and don't even understand or comprehend how you can be able to control vehicles and not own them and be able to make more money than the people who own them sometimes. Because people who own them, they are responsible for the the rent on it, I mean, for the uh, the loan on it. They're responsible for the insurance on it. You as a broker, you're responsible for the that deal. You're responsible for that deal. Does that make sense? You as the person who's broken, you're responsible for the deal. So you don't care about the loan being paid. You don't care about... Um, you don't care about the insurance being paid and not that you don't care about it, but you care about getting a high quality client into the vehicle to where they can pay for it and understand how to run the game. So you got to understand at the end of the day, everybody who, Hey bro, I don't got nothing today, bro. I'm going to lie. I'm going to lie. But yeah, so, um, you want to make sure that you are able to put yourself in position to have quality clientele and be able to find a business that does quality work so that you can literally be the middleman to position everybody to be able to get what they want. So the customer wants the car, the business wants the business, and you want your finder's fee, right? That's it. That's how you got to think of it. You want your finder's fee, right? Everybody comment finder's fee. Everybody comment finder's fee. I just put the rolling on my wrist just like a bus. Let's cook with screw. Let's cook with screw. <laughs> That's what I did. I got educated, watched her live, bought the course, went and got three cars in one week, waiting on trackers now. That's what I'm talking about, Brody. Keep going. Finder's fee. Now, look, so the dope thing about this brokering method that I just taught you guys, I need y'all to pay attention. The brokering method works the same in pretty much every industry. If you can figure out how to become the person who connects the dots, you can be able to get paid six and seven figures easily. Don't let that go over your head. If you are good at networking and building relationships and connecting the dots for people who don't want it, because me, just think about me myself, me in particular, right? Me in particular, I pay for convenience. So instead of waiting in a long line, I want to pay. Instead of having to, uh, you know, submit a, a form and do this and go over here and go down to the office, I'd rather pay the fee that makes it quicker because I pay for convenience. I don't want to 
look for everything. I don't want to make 20 calls to find a Lambo in the city. I would rather have a person set everything up for me and have everything set up for me before I leave the house. That's the type of people you're going to target. People prefer, people pay for convenience. So that's a finder's fee. You get what I'm saying? That's a finder's fee. So you're going to start to see these type of things often. Not sometimes. You're going to start to see these type of things often. And what looks like um, you'll be able to find those people, connect those dots to those businesses, and you'll be able to cross over industries. We do this with yachts. I was able to sell a yacht last year. I sold a, lot, a yacht last year, and I made $70,000 for a finder's fee. You get what I'm saying? Uh, you know what I mean? I introduced one guy to somebody who bought a house. And I was able to get fifteen thousand dollars just for introducing him to the person who actually is the uh, who sell who actually gets the financing done. He gets the funding for you to buy a house. I made the introduction. I got a percentage of it. I got fifteen thousand dollars. The guy bought a two point eight million dollar house. So you being able to connect the dots can pay you very very well. You just have to understand how to get the education and know the parties involved. You know the parties on the left and the parties on the right. You know what the party on the left wants. You know what the party on the right wants, and then you just connect the dots. That's it. So you got to start understanding that this is how you make money. It's not always about credit. It's not always about cash. Relationships, y'all know what I say. Relationships, credit, cash, in that order. You got to be able to build those relationships because relationships can make, make put you in rooms that money can. It can take you places that money can. It can put you around people, put you in rooms, put you in front of an auditorium full of people that money cannot. I literally, so some people don't even understand. So I got people who, who, who want to get paid to speak, right? So people want to get paid to speak and they don't understand that sometimes you will get paid more by not even taking, uh, taking payment for you to come speak. What does that look like, Mitch? I don't get what you mean. If I want to get paid to speak, I want to get paid to speak. What I mean by that is something very, very simple is... If someone tells me, yo, Mitch, I want you to speak at my event. I want you to give them some mindset tips. I want you to teach them some game, teach them how to leverage their credit, whatever. And I say, the first question I'm going to ask them is how many people? How many people going to be there? Because sometimes you don't understand that the relationship is this. I want to be able to make impact. So if you're going to put me in front of 20,000 people in front of an arena or something like that, and I'm going to be able to speak in front of 20,000, 40,000 people, then that's something totally different. You don't even have to pay me for that because I'm going to get money from just being able to speak at this event. I'm going to be able to make impact at that event. So therefore, I'm going to get paid to speak. You don't even have to really pay me because why? I'm prepared. I have products to sell. I can come there with merch. I can come, I can set up a table in the back with books. I can have my uh, digital products that I sell on Instagram. I can give out my phone number to where I can get a lot of people's contacts to then be able to retarget them later if they want to further their education on what I was speaking on. So you don't necessarily have to pay me. We got to understand that sometimes the relationship is more important. So yeah, you know what, bro? You got a relationship with someone who can put me in front of a, a, a room full of 20,000 people, 40,000 people. You know what? Don't worry about the money. Don't worry about paying me to speak. I'll take the opportunity. I'll take the opportunity. And a lot of people, they chase money instead of chasing value. And when you chase value, you're going to see that the money is going to actually chase you. So me, I don't never chase money now. I don't never chase anything like that. I chase value. I try to increase my, my worth. I, I try to increase my value every day. Every month, the value of myself goes up. Every, every month, my social currency goes up. Every month, my relationships go up, meaning that I'm, I'm building more relationships and making more partnerships. I'm shaking hands with more people. Therefore, my impact, my, my value is literally increasing as we speak. Does that make sense? So some people won't understand that because they're still chasing money. They're still chasing dollars. So they'll miss opportunities chasing dollars. So me, I won't miss the opportunity. Some people be like, yeah, you know, you know what I mean? I, I would have took it, but he was talking about only paying me 5000 And we about to speak in front of 80,000 people, and he only paying me $20,000. I would do it for free. Shit, tell, give me his number. Give me his number. I, give me his number right now. I'll do that shit for free. He going to have you speaking in front of 80,000? So let me break down the numbers for y'all. Let me let me break down the, let me break down the numbers for the people who don't understand what I'm saying. If I was even speaking in front of a thousand people, it's worth it. If I was speaking in front of 500 people, it's worth it. Let me explain how. 
Let me explain how I'm in position that I have increased the value of myself to where people pay me for my knowledge, for my intellectual property, right? So since we understand that, if I get a thousand people, right? If I go and speak in full of a room for free, they are they may have paid to be there. It may be free for them to be there or whatever. I'm in the room with a thousand people who are going to listen to me. I'm going to get on there and give them so much value in a short period of time because I'd only get what? 30 minutes, maybe an hour, maybe 45 minutes to an hour. I get 45 minutes. They get a, they get my life. I'm 32 years old. Or as an entrepreneur, I've been an entrepreneur for seven years. I've got seven years worth of knowledge. I'm going to try to give them in a 45 minute span. Is that enough time? Is that enough time? Do y'all think I can give y'all seven years worth of knowledge in a 30 minute or 45 minute set? Is it possible for me to give y'all seven years of knowledge and mistakes and experience and growth? It's not possible. So let me tell you what's going to happen. Because I can't give them enough value in that 45 minutes worth of time or that hour worth of time, guess what they're going to do? They're going to seek out more information because they're their curiosity will be raised. They will want to learn more. So guess what will happen? I can then leave off of that stage and I can sell hardback books at a table and I will sell out. Or I can offer my services. Um, you can literally follow me on social media and then all of the services that I provide. I have coaching, I have mentorship, I have eBooks, things that you can purchase. So if if I get off of that stage and I spoke in front of people, a thousand people, and let's just say that each of those people bought my $1,500 course, how much did I just make off of one event? Let's just hypothetically say that all 1,000 people were so inclined to purchase my product, let's just say a $1,500 product, I got products for $2,000, I got products for $2,500, I got products for $10,000, I got all of that, but let's just say they bought it for $1,500. How much did I make if all 1,000 bought that? With me just going on the stage with 1,000 people, 1,000, 1 1.5 mil. Okay, now, imagine if they bought it for two. Imagine if, if I, I, I spoke in a room full of 20,000 people and they felt so inclined with the information that I gave them, they felt so inclined with the information that I gave them that they wanted more information. They wanted more information. So look, I spoke in front of 20,000 people and I got 1% of them to purchase my products. I will do a million dollars in that motherfucking arena. You don't, y'all don't understand that that's what the value brings. I will do a million dollars in that arena. I, if I get, if I get half of 20,000 to purchase a one, some of my products, I will do five, six, seven, eight million in an arena. Y'all don't even know that. But the problem is y'all can't see it because y'all are chasing the dollars. Y'all are chasing the dollars. Me, I'm not. I'm chasing the impact. I'm chasing the value. I'm chasing the relationships. I'm chasing the me making you money, you telling people who taught you how to make that money, and then it comes back to me full circle, meaning that I get the verbal praise that I desire. I get the impact that I desire. And my value, my worth, my credibility increases. So one would be inclined to think that me making you make money is a priority. So I want each and every one of y'all on this live to go out and leave from this live and make money. Do you dig what I'm saying? So anybody who thinks that my products won't make you money, you're sadly mistaken because that's the goal. Anytime I make a product, I make it to where if someone utilizes my products, they will leave from utilizing the product and make a lot of money and make so much money or change their life in a way to where they have to tell other people that they made money. That's what you call impact. That makes my notoriety. That gets me more what? Speaking gigs. That gets me more uh, panels. That gets me more podcasts. That gets me more what? Satisfaction. Because all I do is try to provide a service to where my real life impacts others and their families and their families and their friends. And then we're all changing the conversation. The world is changing. Now we're not talking about uh, tabloids. Now we're not talking about Kanye. We're talking about generational wealth. We're talking about trust. 
We talking about life insurance. We talking about credit. We talking about all these different things that changed my life that is now gonna change your life once you start following me. Do you get what I'm saying? It's gonna change your life because I'm telling you, I literally taught from experience. I changed my whole entire life by utilizing credit, utilizing business, utilizing relationships, and then continuing to grow daily and increasing the value. That's how I did it. You dig what I'm saying? So people don't understand that you literally can change your life with this information that I be giving y'all, but a lot of y'all don't understand the free information because it's free. Don't, I talk to y'all for free, but I get on the phone, I get on Zoom calls with people who pay me $10,000 to talk to them every week. You get it for free, so you might not utilize this game that I give you, but the people who pay $10,000, they go ahead and make $10,000 a month. They go ahead and make $10,000 a week. They go ahead and make $10,000 a day, and that's the difference. So since it's free to y'all, y'all don't see it the same way. The people who pay, they utilize it. You dig what I'm saying? So you got to understand that the difference is the person who is receiving the information and how much you invest it. So when you invest nothing, you care less about it. Don't y'all know that? Do y'all not know that when you invest nothing, you care less about it? Case in point, I'm going to give y'all one year's full of masterminds. The, the amount of my masterminds is scaleless. I literally can, I can, it, it's billions of dollars on my masterminds. I'll give it to you for free. I put on my entire life that maybe, maybe three of y'all would literally go through it. Maybe three. And it's 170 of y'all on this live. Maybe three of y'all would literally use it because it's free. You invested nothing into it. You could care less about it. I'm trying to tell y'all. And everybody, the ones who are saying, sign me up that, and that stuff like that, those are the ones who will not use it. I promise you, because you're, a motiva you're motivated by free things. You are motivated by free things. I promise you, all my life, all my life, you are motivated by free things. So when I give you something for free, you are going to put free effort. Do Does everybody know what free effort is? Everybody comment free effort real quick. Everybody comment free effort. Everybody comment free effort. I'm about to explain it to y'all. When you, when you want, when you purchase something for free, or when you go and get something for free, you've invested nothing. So you don't owe anything to finish it to complete it or to take it serious but let me tell you free effort i want you to know what free effort means so this is what free effort is let's just say if your barber is your close friend and he tells you look you no longer have to pay for haircuts because you're my best friend but because you're his best friend and your haircut is now free you will now get free effort for your haircut if you get free effort for your haircut, that means that when Mitch come in there, I'm paying for my haircut. My little brother coming right behind, he paying for his haircut. Slim coming back right behind him, he paying for his haircut. You getting yours for free, so you are what? When are you going to get your haircut? You're going to get your haircut last. You are going to get your haircut last because you are going to get free effort. You are going to get free effort. If I'm a tattoo artist and your tattoo artist say, your tattoo artist say, look, man, you, your money's no good here. Your your haircut, I mean, your, your, your new tattoo, any tattoo you get, it's going to be on me. Don't worry about it. I got you. Don't matter how big, don't matter how small, I got you. It's free. Don't worry about it. I'm never going to charge you. Every client who pays is going to go before you. You will now get free effort. So if I give you a, my whole year's worth of masterminds for free. You are going to give it free effort. That's why this information that I give every day on live for free, all 180 something of y'all on here would have already been millionaires. But it's crazy, I give a lot of this same information to my 10K mentees. They pay me $10,000, they go out and they do high numbers. They go out and do shit like this, look, in real life. Let me show y'all what it is. 
This is this is the difference. It's no it's no fluff involved in this statement in any way. I want y'all to know that there's no fluff involved in it. So look, they go out and do numbers like this because they paid ten thousand dollars. So they they put the effort of damn, I paid ten G's. I gotta make this shit make sense. You dig what I'm saying? And this not even a full year. Y'all gotta know my man started in March. So y'all got to understand the difference between the effort. He's not giving free effort. He paid 10000 He want his shit back. He said, I got to be able to make $10,000 a month. I'm paying a nigga 10000 It's a difference. So you don't want to ever put up free effort. You don't even want to let other people know that you prefer free effort. He will be like, oh shit. Well, yeah, I'm definitely coming if it's free. I don't, we don't want you. We want the people who understand how serious shit is sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Because guess what Mitch gonna do? I'm gonna pay. I'm going to a Lamborghini event in February. This shit gonna be 2000. I'm in there. I'm in there. It's a mastermind. It costs 15K. Everybody will be there. I'm in there. I'm in there. Do y'all get the difference though? I'm in there. But you know, when people say, oh yeah, I will. If, I, if somebody asks me this, I'm like, yo, we all going to this mastermind this, on this day. And they be like, all right, well, oh, I want to go. They say, I want to go first, meaning that they are available to go. I want to go. And then they say, oh, well, how much is it? And then we say, oh, it's 15000 And they say, oh, well, nah, I'm out here. We know, we know what you value. You great value. I told you that my, one of my favorite new memes now. You got great value energy, bro. You want it for free. You want it for free. You want free. You want to invest nothing and you want to gain everything. And it don't work like that. You want to invest nothing and gain everything. That's the difference. So think about it like this. If you really want something, if you really want it, I'm talking about, let's just say if y'all going to take a plane, y'all got to get somewhere. You got to get home. You stuck out of the country. You in Mexico. If you really want to go, are you going to wait for the ticket to get cheaper? Or are you just going in and pay right then? When it's time to go, I got to go. You're going to pay it because you want to get that immediate service. You want to see the results. You want to get those results. You want to get the fuck out of here. You get what I'm saying? Somebody give me something for free. They can tell me how they giving it to me. Do y'all dig what I'm saying? Somebody give me something for free. They can control how they give it to me. They can manipulate how they give it to me. They can do it when they want. They can do it. But when you pay, you be like, look, I pay for this. So either I get this service or I want a refund. So now the person has incentive to give you what you paid for. Do we understand? If a nigga, get, if a nigga say, yo, look, man, don't worry about it, bro. I got you, dog. You can have this free section. You come to his club. You come to his club. You come to my club. You can get a free section. Now, look, Jay-Z come through, Kanye, Wale come through. We moving you out the way. We moving you out the way. Yeah, my bad. Jay-Z here, dog. We got to let the nigga get a section. But, dog, got to invite all my homies. I told my girls everything was good. The bottles was on me. What, what's up? Nah, but your table was free, dog. Don't worry about it, bro. I'll get you next time. Do you understand? So don't give out that energy. Don't give out that great value energy. Don't give out that shit. That's just me being no fluff. I want y'all to know what time it is. I want y'all to really be able to change y'all lives. I want y'all to really see that impact that y'all want. I really, really want y'all to be able to move the way y'all want to move. I really want y'all to have those houses that y'all really want to live in. I really want y'all to have those cars that y'all really want to drive. Let me know if y'all can hear, hear me or not. Let's go, let's go. Let me know if y'all can hear me or not. Somebody just called me. Flame me up in the comments if y'all can still hear me. Flame me up in the comments if you can still hear me. Yes, sir. Flame me up in the in the comments if you can still hear me. I'm going to get back to it. Yay. Okay, cool. It's lit. All right, so like I was saying, I want I want people to, I really want y'all to be able to get these, these, these bank accounts that y'all want to have. I really want y'all to be able to get this jewelry that y'all want to have. I want y'all to get the my bad, my bad. Let me know if y'all can hear me or not. Flame me up in the comments again if y'all can hear me or not. They calling me. They calling me, man. 
Okay, we good. All right, bet. So I want y'all to have everything like that y'all really want for y'all lives. Forget what I want. Forget my house. Forget my cars. Forget my businesses. I want y'all to have what y'all want. And the cool thing about it is I can tell if you want to have what you want. I'm going to say that again. I want y'all to have what y'all want. But I can tell, I can tell if you want to have what you want. Anybody who's saying, can I explain the broker method again? No, I cannot. But this will go on my YouTube. I'm going to post this video on YouTube. Um, so please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube. When I get to 10K subscribers, I, I will release my podcast episode. So it's lit. Mitch, is it 10K monthly or a one-time payment? It's a one-time payment of 10K. So know that. No, not 10K for a mastermind, 10K for my mentorship. Um, it's eight weeks. Name of the YouTube channel is Pushman Mitch. But don't worry, you can go right to my bio. You can click my name, go to my fucking Instagram page and click my link tree. And then it's right there. You just subscribe to the YouTube. So I want y'all to know what's up, man. The difference between... The difference between uh, a person who really wants what they say they want is a person who's doing what they say. You said you wanted this, right? You said you wanted this, but what are you doing to prove that? I want everybody. It's top of the year. Check it. I'm going to be on your ass. I'm going to be on your ass every day. I want y'all to know that. I'm going to be on your ass. So check it. You said you wanted that lifestyle. You said you wanted your dream house. You said you wanted that 800 credit score. Everybody on this live, I want y'all to name it's been a couple days into the new year. Tell me everything you've been doing that's been productive. What did you do today that was productive? That's going towards your goal that you said you wanted. What did you do? If you ain't do shit, don't say nothing. If you ain't do shit, don't say nothing and don't lie to yourself because that's even worse. That's even worse. Look at the, well, the watch collection about to be spicy. You already see it. Damn. It's about to be spicy. Started my LLC today. I like that. Set up my QuickBooks today. I like that. Yes, sir. Yeah. If you ain't do nothing, don't say nothing. Started my ebook. There you go. Bought the course, started a credit, build out for funding. Let's go. Read a book on personal development and looked at some trading videos. Okay, I I'll let that ride. Hopped in the clubhouse with Grant working on getting the LLC. Okay, that's that's not, I'm not counting that. What have you executed on, y'all? I, I I want y'all to educate yourselves. I want y'all to educate yourself. But after you educate yourself, you need to be implementing what you learn. If you only got uh if you only got on a push man Mitch live and learned about the broker method and you didn't start doing things that are part of the broker method, you didn't do shit. I want y'all to know that. I want y'all to be able to execute on information given. Execute on information given. So don't think I'm going to let y'all get a breeze pass when y'all looking at content. Don't let me, don't think y'all going to get a breeze pass. I'm on y'all ass. Y'all said y'all wanted that. So let's go. Apply for a business credit and got three of them things. Let's get it. I'm finishing up the water challenge. Okay. Order trackers and for three of vehicles I just purchased last week. Pick up some packages from my business office. Typing my course right now. Counting up some new money. You ain't do shit. Sent a dispute letters into built credit. That's what I'm talking about. On my way to paint and finish my event space. I like that shit, Chris. Let's go. Got business funding. Okay, you got business funding. Okay. Set up a link tree. Put my course together. Started my LLC and made a band today. Okay, there we go. Execute. I worked out. Let's dope. Because it only matters on what goals you have for yourself. So if your goal was to fix your credit and you didn't do anything to do with your credit today, then you bullshitting. If your goal is to build a seven figure business and you have a business and you ain't do shit for your business today, you bullshitting. That's just the re that's the reality. I'm not going to bullshit y'all. I got my sliding and brick face in my new construction house and also closing on a duplex Friday. All right. My question is what y'all doing today, y'all? What y'all do today? Y'all, we can keep pushing shit off. I want to know what y'all did today. Went live teaching people how to build business credit. There we go. Working on my second ebook. Okay, you was writing it. I had a strategy call for my business. That's good. Okay. Set up accounts with banks. I like that. 
Found a location, building to expand the business. Okay. Now we'll learn about another business maximize. Had a construction a consultation call today. Okay. I'm seeing a little bit. I'm seeing a little bit of shit. Planning on planning on flipping the car to make 10k. Planning on flipping the car to make 10k. Don't that's not you ain't do nothing. I'm planning to I'm planning to be a billionaire. I'm planning to be a million. I'm planning to be a billionaire. I'm planning to uh holler at Megan Good soon to see if she want to get wiped up. Cause I know Megan Good going through a divorce right now. I'm planning on that too. I'm planning on a lot of shit. I'm planning on hitting my brother Eric Bellinger up to see if he can hook it up. Stop bullshitting. Stop bullshitting. Somebody said, I'm still stacking paper so I can buy an authorized user. We hustling backwards. I love Megan and Eric. Well, I love Megan too. Megan says she don't want to have no kids. That's cool with me. I ain't going to even cap like her husband probably. Thank you. Uh, somebody said, I just subscribed to your channel. Appreciate that. Yeah. Stop bullshitting. So the thing is, a lot of y'all, let me tell y'all something 100% fat. A lot of y'all, the reason why y'all not successful is because of you. It's because of you. And people being nice to you and yes men being around you. Let me tell you something. You slacking, you slacking. If you don't work hard, you're not going to get it. If you don't show up every day, you're not going to get it. If you don't be consistent, you're not going to get it. If you can't form a routine, let me tell y'all something right now. Form a routine. That's another thing I want to tell y'all about. Form a routine. Like some of y'all are so undisciplined. That shit is crazy. Some of y'all are so undisciplined. That shit is crazy. Like it's just like everything you do is just it's by luck you get up at a different time every day you know what i'm saying you don't have no type of discipline or no structure like i'm talking about people who literally don't even have nine to five y'all full-time entrepreneurs and y'all undisciplined you don't got no routine form a damn routine my bad my, my phone just jumped on the fucking wi-fi at my house but um form a routine so this is what i need y'all to know so y'all are y'all be so undisciplined this shit is scary so if you get up a different time every day, you don't have a routine. You need to get up. You need to say, look, I'm going to do this from this time to this time. I'm going to do this from this time to this time. And then after that, you can have a little freestyle moment in your in your life and in your day. But you don't need you need to have some type of schedule. You have to. If you really want to get to this bag, if you really want to get to this different level of life, you need to form a routine. Some of y'all are just highly undisciplined individuals. And that's the reason why you are where you are. Some of y'all been getting baby. Some of y'all mentors is babying y'all. Some of y'all coaches and y'all friends is babying the fuck out of y'all. Y'all need to form a routine. If you form a routine, you're gonna start seeing the you're gonna start seeing the results happen differently. If you wake up every day at 8 a.m., wake up every day at 9 a.m., and then you immediately you eat your breakfast and then you read something. You eat your breakfast and then you watch a a, a, a podcast. You eat your breakfast and then you 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 just go out and, and take a walk around the block and then you think about what you're gonna have before you day before you touch your phone different things you got to form a routine oh I, I i dedicate an hour and a half to two hours to every day to building my business up so i sit down and i don't I, I i put my phone on do not disturb i sit there i look at my vision board and i literally implement everything that i was saying that needs to go to my business I implement everything. I know I need a better website, so I'm going to go on fucking Fiverr. I'm going to go on Freelancer, and I'm going to find the best person who builds websites, and I'm going to say, hey, this is the type of website that I'm looking at. Please build this shit up and make it this way. This is what I'm looking like. This is my example website. I want it kind of like this. Please make this website for me. There you go. You did a productive thing for the day for your business. The next day, you do the same thing. You look at your vision board. You write down what your goals are for your business. You want to be making as much money, but you don't have an email list. Here you go. Let me me find a CRM so I can literally get my email list going. Let me go ahead and go to uh, Fiverr and have somebody do it. Or let me go to uh, literally. You can go to anywhere. You can go to uh, Click Funnels. You can go to uh, motherfucking uh, Active Campaign. You can go to Mailchimp and literally sit there and build out your email list. Or you can hire someone who is better at what you are 
better than you at what you're doing because me, I'm not an email person. I'm not a tech person, but I will hire somebody who is. So listen, get you a virtual assistant, have them trained up on MailChimp, have them trained up on Active Campaign, and have them dropping out them daily fucking emails to your customers who already shop with you. Everybody who calls your phone, you need to be getting their email, their phone number, their first name, last name. Don't be a square and don't develop every day. That's y'all problem. Y'all undisciplined, but y'all want to make money. Y'all want to make millions. Every day, you just knock another thing down, cuz. Every day, you knock another thing down. That's how you build. Y'all don't know the word build. Y'all don't understand the word build. Y'all just be saying shit, but y'all don't do nothing. Y'all just be saying shit. You get what I'm saying? Y'all just be saying shit. We got to literally start to do and develop ourselves every day. So you need to get a routine. First of all, y'all undisciplined as shit. So let's get disciplined. Form a routine. Let's form a routine. Get a vision board. Write down what the fuck you want to do for your business. What you want to do for your life. If your credit is the problem, every day I need to dedicate an hour to making sure my credit is A1. Just one hour. Just one hour. You got 24 of them motherfuckers. Right? Dedicate 30 minutes to it if you can't do an hour. I'm going to dedicate 30 minutes unsolicited. I'm going to do it uninterrupted. I'm going to put my phone on. Do not disturb. And the only thing... I'm going to do is develop my damn credit for 30 minutes. I'm going to go to Experian. I'm going I'm to I'm have my Experian account or I'm going to have my identity IQ. I'm going to look at everything. I'm like, here's what's on it. Here's what I need off of it. I'm going to check my utilization for my credit cards. I'm going to check my billing cycles. I'm going to check my statement dates. And I'm going to go ahead and make sure that everything is paid on time. I'm going to make sure that I put my shit on recurring to where anytime there's a balance, it gets paid off before the billing statement date. That's all you got to do. Form a routine. Form a routine. Y'all, Some of y'all are so undisciplined, y'all will never, ever get spicy because you don't want to get disciplined. The disciplined ones are the ones who are rewarded. Every single day, you knock something off that vision board. Every single day. Every single day. And y'all can't understand. Some people will be asking me, Mitch, how you get on live every day? How you get on live every day and talk? How do you even come up with this stuff that you talk about every day? This is my life, though. I own, my whole diet is consumed by this type of information. I only listen to podcasts that are to do a financial literacy credit and self-development i only follow people on instagram that are about the things that are aligned with my goal i only talk to people who i only have friends and talk to people who are iron sharpens iron they only talk to me about these things we're only trying to develop and build every single day that's all i surround myself with at all times i'm learning about real estate i'm learning about crypto i'm learning about nfts i'm learning about the blockchain i'm learning about everything that i want Want for my life so i see people i see seven figure and eight figure and nine figure people who literally who look just like me so i am following their footsteps no i can't pay for everybody's mentorship because everybody doesn't have mentorship available so guess what i can do to get their mentorship watch their consistency watch how they move look at their websites look at their companies look at their brands look at what they do daily if you can follow them on social media you have an opportunity to be mentored by someone so literally i can look at how consistently they post i can look at the way their websites have uh customer re retention I, I can see how they follow up with me if i go into the cart and then check out early i can see how they have a click uh, a easy click email as soon as you go to their website i can see how they they automatically got my information as soon as i get up and they offer me a discount on their products if i sign up for the email list i can watch them very simply and develop myself by watching people who are coming from where i'm trying to go so this dude got a billion dollars so this is what he's doing this is what he did. Kanye bought land. He went out to Oklahoma and got these lands. He went and studied all of the brands. He went and, and signed up with Adidas and then branched off from Adidas and made his own brand called Yeezy Separate. He literally made it to where he can make his own income. So I had to follow the people who are coming back from where I'm trying to go. I don't have to sign up for Kanye's mentorship to get mentored by him. I don't got to sign up for Mark Zuckerberg's mentorship to get mentored by him. I see how he just changed the name of a company that was slowly digressing from Facebook to Metaverse and now 
now everybody's talking about metaverse every single day. The power of changing your name and renewing a company is very powerful. So if I got something that needs to seem new, I can change the name to it. That's mentorship. I can literally see and process what's going on all around me at all times. But some of y'all are so sleep and so undisciplined, you will never be able to see what's going on around you because you're too distracted. And the key is to focus, make a routine and get undistracted so you can literally level up to where you want to be. Did that make sense? Drop flames in the comments if you're following what I'm saying because I don't think y'all really, really get it. Y'all don't see where I get it from. I got plenty of mentors. I got plenty of them. So y'all think that um, I literally get all of this information and in execution because the difference between me and all the rest of your coaches and things of that nature is I only teach what I actually do. I only teach what I actually have experience in. I only teach things that I've actually done and received results from. I only can teach things that I can stand on and sit on off the top. So some people don't do that. So me in particular, I'm out here doing a lot of shit so I can be saying a lot of shit. You feel me? That's the difference. That's the difference. I'm out here doing a lot of shit so I can be out here saying a lot of shit. So if y'all following, let's get to it. If you not, it's all right, but it's 2022. And me and my team, me and Triple C's, me and the New World Bankers, we out here to get the bag in 2022. Nobody about to get more bread than us. And let me tell you why. Because we not competing with nobody else. We competing with last year's self. You feel me? We competing with ourselves from last year. So last year, I did used to work hard, but I could have worked way harder. I was taking a lot of vacations. I was chilling out. I was off task a lot. I was having a lot of fun. I was living a lot. I was knocking a lot of things off my bucket list. This year is the year of execution, homie. This year is the year of execution. Everything that I didn't do last year, I'm going to do it times 10 this year. You dig what I'm saying? So if you not bout that, that's cool. But if you bout that, let's rock. Drop flames in the comments. I need to see fire. What's up? I need to see fire. What's up? Y'all know what it is. A lot of people saying they want these constellations over top of them, right? A lot of people saying they want them stars, right? They saying they want these constellations on their neck. But they don't want to put that work in. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. Me and my team going to do. We're going to put the work in. Guarantee and look you can say whatever you want people can say whatever they want about me my team But we nobody ain't gonna say we not getting to this bread I'm gonna tell you that for sure. Nobody ain't gonna say our family's not getting to this bread Nobody ain't gonna say we don't got 800 credit scores ain't nobody gonna say that ain't nobody ain't gonna say man Mitch be talking a lot of shit, but he ain't even got no 800 credit score. They ain't gonna be able to say that They gonna say put Mitch be talking a lot of shit, but he ain't got no mansion. They ain't gonna be able to say that they ain't going to be able to say that. They ain't going to be able to miss me talking a lot of shit, but he ain't even got no cars. They ain't going to be able to see that. You, you see what I'm in, dog. This every day, man. We can't put up no front. You feel me? We can't put up no front. They going to say, man, miss me talking a lot of shit, man. He ain't got no watches, none of that shit. You feel me? They ain't going to be able to say none of that. All they going to be able to say is I can say one thing about that brother is that nigga be working and he getting to it. So that's what I'm going to keep doing and my team going to keep doing it. And y'all, my followers who are serious about this triple C shit, y'all going to get to it too because I'm going to make sure it because I'm on y'all ass. So if you're not doing something every day to develop your business, look, you're lunching. You're dropping the ball. You are literally letting your foot off the gas. And that's the opposite of what we're doing in 2022. Get your motherfucking weight up. Don't get your hate up. Get your weight up because that's the year of execution. 2022. Let's go. Somebody just said, what's triple C's? Everybody tell it who, everybody who know what triple C's is, tell them what it is. Triple C's is in this joint. Uh, my, that's my squad. That's my gang. I know how we get busy. We the leverage team. We leverage in this bread. We leverage in our credit. We leverage in our cars. We leverage in our cash. And we get into these bags. And these bags are compounding because when we get in this money, we invest in it back in to businesses, crypto, stock, I mean, residential. We get in uh, real estate. We get in taxes. We doing everything to make our money compound. We are compounding our money, dog. So that's the difference between everybody who y'all see doing it. So if y'all want to get busy, man, don't wait till tomorrow. That's the problem. It's already 2022. New Year's is up. Let's go. Don't wait till tomorrow with what you can do today. So get y'all vision boards, man. Get y'all vision boards out right now. But look, like I said, I'm about to get off this live again. Y'all know what time it is. Anytime I get on a live, 
five people DM me the word cash ready if you want the rental car course at 60% off. Let's get it, man. We getting paper all year. You already know what it is. I'm out.